In this video, I'm going to show you how my client almost canceled his purchase agreement due to what was found on the inspection report and how the deal was successfully saved, resulting in a happy buyer. It's all coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Warren Oberhalser. I'm a local realtor in the East Bay Tri-Valley area in Northern California. My channel's all about helping both buyers and sellers get maximum results for one of their biggest investments, their home. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post new content regularly. And if this is your first time here, don't worry about taking any notes. I create a blog just for this video. You'll find a link for it in the show notes below so you can just sit back and enjoy. When your offer finally gets accepted to purchase a home, there's several items that you're going to need to handle all around the same time, which include getting the buyer's earnest money deposit to the title company, if the buyer's financing, getting the loan started, and handling the investigation period. Part of the investigation period is the inspection. For this particular property, there were no pre-inspections available, so the buyer had to have his own inspections performed. The property was a condo, so the inspections to order were just the home and termite. The HOA covers the roof, so no roof inspection was required. The inspection results were pretty straightforward. Just a minor section one item found under the sink, which is not uncommon, and a few other items were noted. However, what got everybody's attention is what was found on the back porch balcony area. It was determined that the back porch top coating was in marginally serviceable condition. The balcony design was constructed of a wood subfloor with a top coating of elastomeric paint. So on visual inspection, you could see a raised or bubble formation under the exterior surface and some areas had been repaired by patching them. The inspector recommended in his report that a licensed contractor come out and investigate the actual integrity of the area. Now here is the problem. If it's determined that the porch needs repairs, who's responsible for it? Keep in mind, the condo's on the third floor. If the balcony was to fail, people could get hurt. When the property is a condo or townhome, you should first reach out to the HOA for a current ruling on any issue or information you may need. Unfortunately, this HOA would not communicate with the buyer. So we had to ask the seller to contact the HOA to request them to advise on this issue. Keep in mind, it's recommended that you handle this by email exchange only. This way, the information is in writing. Now you're probably thinking, why don't you just ask the current homeowner the question, who's responsible for the back balcony? Here's the issue. If no repairs were required in the past, many homeowners just don't know. Also, when the current homeowner did purchase the property, it may have been the HOA's responsibility at the time of purchase to cover any deck maintenance or repairs. But over the years, rules could have changed, switching responsibility to the homeowner. Now, while waiting for the HOA's response, in order to stay compliant with the contract's timeline, we did send in a repair request to the seller to fix a few minor items, such as the Section 1 issue found under the sink. We also included the resurfacing of the deck in the event it was determined that the HOA didn't handle this area. So, what was the verdict? Well, we had good news and bad news. First, the bad news. The seller would not agree to any of the buyer's repair requests. The seller's response is not too surprising given our current crazy seller's market. Here's the good news. The HOA does cover the back balcony. My buyer was relieved that the main repair problem was handled by the HOA and he felt he could take care of the other issues on his own that the seller wouldn't handle. So he moved forward with the sale of the property and closed on time. As I do with all my clients, I do check in regularly after a home is either sold or purchased and he does report being happy in his condo. One of the key elements to a successful home transaction is to investigate all the details, especially when there is an HOA involved. Don't take the word of the homeowner. It's not about whether they're being honest or not, although they do have responsibility to answer all questions honestly and to the best of their knowledge. But more important, when you have an HOA, you should get everything in writing from the source, which is the HOA itself. This way, there can be little to no doubt. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, post any questions or comments down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I post new content like this regularly. If you found this video interesting, you may want to watch these other two on termite and home inspection. So stay tuned. I have more helpful videos like this coming soon. Please reach out to me for any of your real estate questions or needs, and I wish you all the best on your home journey.